Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast Special Edition Series, where I preview and predict every conference for the 2019-20 college basketball season. Now up is the SEC. I'm going to go through my projected order of finish, player of the year, freshman of the year, coach of the year, predict who makes the tournament, who goes to the NIT, what coach is on the hot seat, what coach can make a jump to a bigger school, and a lot more. I have winning the conference yet again, the Kentucky Wildcats, who did not win the conference last year, but it seems like they do almost every year. They made the eight, Elite Eight last year. John Calipari in year 11, 30 and 7 last year, 15 and 3 in SEC play. Ashton Hagens, Emmanuel Quickly, Tyrese Maxey, EJ Montgomery, Nick Edwards, and Nate Sestina are all players that will be getting significant minutes for the Cats this year. And in second place, I have the Florida Gators, 20 and 16 on the season. 9-9 and in conference play. Mike White already in year 5. Kerry Blackshear Jr. comes over from Virginia Tech. Andrew Newhorn, Noah Locke, Kante Johnson, Scotty Lewis, and Trey Mon are all notable players on the squad. In third place, I have the Auburn Tigers. Bruce Pearl in year 6 already. 30-10 and 10. last year, 11-7 and 7 in conference play. Notable players coming back, Austin Wiley and... Dangel Purifoy. In fourth place, I have the LSU Tigers. Will Wade is back. After many people thought that he was going to get fired because of the skanctions and stuff. 28-7 last year. 16-2 in conference play. Noble players coming back. Tradon Watford, Skylar Mays, and Javante Smart. In fifth place, I have the Tennessee Volunteers. Made the Sweet 16 last year, 31 and 6. Last year, 15 and 3. In conference play, Rick Barnes in year 5. Jordan Bowden, Lamonte Turner, and Yves Pons will lead the way there. In sixth place, I have the Mississippi State Bulldogs, 23 and 11 last year, 10 and 8. In conference play, finally made the tournament under Ben Howland. Um, noble player coming back, Reggie Perry. In 7th place, I have the Ole Miss Rebels, who made the tournament last year, unexpected tournament appearance under Kermit Davis in his first season. 20-13 and 13 last year, 10-8 and 8 in SEC play. Brian Tyree and Devontae Schuler will lead the way for that team. In 8th place, I have the Georgia Bulldogs, 11-21 on the season, 2-16. and 16. In conference play last year, Tom Crean in year 2. This team will be much better, courtesy of... Freshman Anthony Edwards coming into town. In ninth place, I have the Alabama Crimson Tide, who have a new head coach in Nate Yost, who replaces Avery Johnson. They went 18 and 16 last year, 8 and 10 in conference play. Kira Lewis will lead the way for the Crimson Tide. In tenth place, I have the Arkansas's Razorbacks, Eric Musselman in year one. He replaces Mike Anderson, who was fired 18 and 16 last year, 8 and 10 in SEC play. In 11th place, I have the South Carolina Gamecocks, Frank Martin in year number eight. He's always got his teams to overachieve over the last few years, but last year, 16 and 16, 11 and 7 in conference play. 12, the Texas A&M Aggies, Buzz Williams in year one after Billy Kennedy was let go. And they went 14 and 18 last year, 6 and 12 in conference play. In 13th, I have the Missouri Tigers, Quanzo Martin in year number four, amazingly enough. Or I'm sorry, year number three. 15 and 17 last year, 5 and 13 in conference play. And in the stellar... Vanderbilt, who has a new coach in Jerry Stackhouse after firing Bryce Drew. Disastrous year last year, 9-23, 0-18 in SEC play. Player of the year, I'm going to go with Kerry Blackshear, Jr. of Florida. He'll come in and make an immediate impact and help um, contend with Kentucky in the SEC this season. Freshman of the year, Anthony Edwards. It's too bad that he's going to be a one-and-done prospect in the top three pick in the NBA draft come 2020. But maybe he helps Tom Crean overachieve at Georgia. Coach of the year, Bruce Pearl of Auburn. I think that they overcome some key losses and finish in the top three in the SEC. 
But I also think that Bruce Pearl could be a coach on the hot seat if Scanchins return. I don't think anybody's really on the hot seat other than Will Wade and Bruce Pearl, and that's only because of NCAA Scanchins. So other than that, I think that every coach in the SEC will almost certainly be with their respective teams, barring some unexpected movement where a coach leaves for another job or if John Calipari moves to the NBA or if Mike White goes to a bigger job. But I don't see anybody leaving this conference unless if Skanchen's return for Will Wade and Bruce Pearl, and I could see a world where one of those two gentlemen lose their jobs. Teams in the tournament, I have Kentucky, Florida, Auburn, LSU, um, Tennessee making the tournament, and NIT, I have Mississippi State, Ole Miss. I think Georgia will be close to the NIT, but they won't make it. I think they make the CIT, and I think that Alabama will be in the CBI, and I would not rule out Arkansas or South Carolina for any of those CBI or CIT tournaments as well. All right. Next up is the SOCON.